Well, this is a short preview of uh, part two of the uh, lecture video on urinary tract technique, normal appearance and variations covering the ureter and urinary bladder. Available on the uh, ultrasound educational website, www.sonoshare.in. The short snippets of uh, the various parts of the lecture video will follow. Having gone through the preview, if you wish to listen to the main lecture video, go to sonoshare.in. Move the transducer to trace the different parts of the ureter. And also you can try with the uh, 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 ureter with a stent in place and then see the stent uh, in the renal pelvis in the upper ureter you can see the uh, stent so you know now by tracing the stent a non dilated ureter how it will um, tells us confirms that you are definitely seeing the ureter so that was the mid ureter and you see the lower ureter filling up and then collapsing so filling up and collapsing so this helps us to identify and confirm that it is the ureter and you see the ureter low distal most ureter collapsing and then you can put on color to see the jet which will follow the collapsing of the lower ureter distal most ureter so this is how you can the 90 degrees make a transverse scan and make a up and down transverse sweep so that you scan the entire volume of the bladder so that is the sagittal sweep in the suprapubic region and you see the corresponding video and the transverse sweep you can see the corresponding video in a male patient so full bladder is required now you see the empty bladder so you cannot study the empty bladder so the bladder has to be full to study the bladder bladder as well as structures posterior to the bladder so this is a sagittal scan so in the male you see the sagittal scan and the transverse scan and you see the bladder as a fluid filled and you see the uh, bladder the distal ureter and that is the distal uterovesical junction similarly uh, when you put a color doppler you can see the distal most ureter with the jet so that is the trigone so how to identify the trigone you identify uh, the internal urethral meatus in the male, in the female, and then between and uh, the urethrovesical junction. So the, this will be the left lateral wall of the urinary bladder. So this is useful in certain situations. I will show one illustration of this. Now this is a patient presenting with hematuria. You see the uh, sagittal scan, transverse scan. Uh, another example of uh, a dilated, slightly dilated distal most ureter. The obstruction is due to a soft tissue mass in a diabetic patient. It is a sloughed papilla causing obstruction in the lower ureter. So that is well seen by either end of you see the uterus and bladder and you see the irregular mass at the level of LSC scar um, with loss of interface between the uterus and the bladder and actually irregular mass protruding into the bladder uh, pubic symphysis and uh, you see the uh, bladder and the urethra so that is the bladder and the urethra and then you see the vagina so that is the vagina and um, this is the rectum so that is in a child and in an adult you see the uh, pubic symphysis and you see the urethra as yes, an echopore structure just beneath the pubic symphysis from the urinary bladder and the vagina the mucus uh, in the vagina gives it an echogenic appearance with a copper wall in a child and uh, here you see the bladder and uh, you see uh, the uh, structures that is the pubic symphysis bladder the rectum the urethra it was a blade of a, a, a leaf of a plant thin leaf of a plant uh, 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 which was introduced by the pain. Ventral scan confirms the same which on color showed uh, uh, flow uh, uh, indicating that it is a hemangioma. The same which on uh, jelly urethrogram is better seen. You see the urethra and you see the uh, hemangioma 
of the walls. So, this is a hemangioma of the pineal urethra which has resulted in urethral bleeding. Thank you for your attention.